Hi, this is CB, and this time I'm going to talk about how to take something, in this case we're going to look at some text, and fade it out a little bit, a little uneven fade here, so that we have something that maybe looks a little more worn and a more realistic worn than if you just lowered the opacity of that layer. So I have here on, in the screen here, I've got a picture of my son in his Halloween costume last year and one of my um, Robots Rule papers that I've read done a little bit to match that. And a little word tag here. This is actually from my girly girl kit and I just took the color out of it and lightened it and made it so that it was white and not pink because I don't think pink would work for this. And uh, text layers. You look at my layers palette that says Robot Boy written on here with a font. And so this is the layer I'm going to be working with. I'm working in Photoshop Elements 6 here. I'm going to take and get my <coughs> excuse me move tool ready, although I'm not going to move it. I just like to have that selected sort of as my default tool. So I want to work on this layer, this text layer, as I said, so I'm going to select it for the moment. And as I said, I could just go up here to the opacity layer. Normally with every text layer I do, I usually put it down to about 85. That just makes it look a little less stark and like it's actual writing sunk into the paper a bit. And if I really want to make it look worn, I guess you could say, well, just lower it down to 65 or so. But that's lowering every letter, every part of the letter exactly the same. And I want to do something a little bit different to give it more of an uneven <coughs> wear to it. So let me go back to this layer and I'm going to pull the opacity back up to 100 again. Now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a mask. If you're watching and you're using Photoshop, full Photoshop, there's a quick mask button that you can choose at the bottom of your layers palette at um, and then it would add the mask directly to this layer and then you would follow f the rest of the steps after that. But we have to get a mask in Elements since Element doesn't have a native quick mask or anything like that. We're going to have to do the work around where we <coughs> do what I call the pseudo mask. And I want to add that to the layer below this. So let me select this word strip layer below it. Going into the adjustment layers, every one of these layers has a mask associated with them and it doesn't really matter which one you pick because we're not going to make the adjustment. I'll just choose the levels one here and choose OK, <coughs> making no changes. But now I have a mask that I can work with. So the next thing I have to do in order to make this layer work with this mask is I have to group these two layers together and I'll do that by clicking on the text layer here hitting the Control and G and if you're using Mac it would be the Command key and the G and after that you'll notice it's got that little down arrow which shows that it's working with this layer below it. <coughs> now when the when the um, mask is all white it means whatever is on this layer and you have to pretend like this mask is over right next to this text will show through. If this was a black mask you wouldn't see this text anymore. Let me demonstrate that real quick. I'll just invert this mask to black and now you notice that if you go over here the text is now missing because it's hiding everything on this layer. So I don't want to do that. I'll put it back to white. But what I do want to do is have some of this a little less strong than others. A real quick way to do this, and I love this, is have the mask selected. You'll probably notice that your colors will be um, black and white. It defaults usually to this after you've got a mask selected because a mask layer can only see in black and white. So as long as you have the mask selected, it should you should see black and white. It doesn't matter if they're flipped really at this point. Um, but if you don't have that for some reason, then hit this little chip down there and you can get it <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> you can get it to be black and white. So now with the mask selected again and you just click on it, you know, tap on it, click on it once, just make sure you have those little lines going around it that shows you it is active. Go into the filter menu and we'll go down here to the render menu and you'll notice because we're on a mask layer not all these filters are available but the clouds one is. So hit the cloud button let it go and you'll notice if you look at this let me zoom in a little bit and you'll notice now we have a much more uneven um, fade and look at the mask over here. It's put the clouds on the mask normally when you run the clouds filter on a layer it will put it on your work but when you have the mask highlighted it's going to throw the clouds on the mask and therefore give you this nice uneven between black is hiding everything, white is showing everything and gray is a bit between where it's sort of not quite hidden but not quite fu fully there. So 
I don't particularly like that too much, but I can tell you that we can do one other thing to this mask if you wanted to sort of work with it a little bit more. Go into the Enhance menu and the Adjust Lighting. Now this is again only in Photoshop Elements. If you're looking for the Brightness con Contrast Control in within Photoshop, you'll need to go into the Image menu, and I think it's Image Adjustments, and then Brightness and Contrast is like one of the first ones choices I think but pick that <coughs> and your little thing comes up now if I choose brightness watch the mask because again we're not really working on the the uh, work itself but it's changing the mask so brightness will add more white to it which would make it show up a little bit more see and then um, also contrast will get rid of more of the gray in here and really make a difference between whites and darks so it's just you know just play with this a little bit to get it kind of what you want and I might even actually dull well no it's it's just really a matter of what you want that's not too bad I think and you can now at this point you can even still go down and lower the opacity a little bit if it's just too too strong but I think that's pretty good right there actually I'm pretty happy with that so now you see we've got something that's faded out but it's not a um, <coughs> an even fade and it's more uneven and looks a little more realistic I think and did not take that long to do at all I mean you could go in with a mask and the paintbrush tool especially if you're using Photoshop and paint you know lighter and darker but the clouds filter and then working with the brightness and contrast to um, work with it even more I think works really well so I'm CB I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching